beautiful day to start our weekend off, but it looks like those rain showers are coming. It dropped about, what, 18 degrees in the last two days, though. Wow. So it has cooled off, even though we're still right about where we should be, if not even a little bit warmer today than normal, but definitely a lot cooler. The ocean starting to poke its head back into our weather, which is uh, Mother Nature's uh, air conditioner is definitely the Pacific Ocean out there. It keeps us mild in the summer. And, um, well, also mild in the winter. We just don't really seem to go either way. But there's the cloud cover of the next little storm system that's been knocking on the door. Widespread 50s, a few 60s along the Santa Barbara South Coast, and about 48 as you head up into the southern Salinas Valley. So temperature-wise, um, one of the things about this system is that it's coming up out of the southwest, some of the energy. So the next couple of days, we may not see very cold overnight temperatures. Now, look at the future cast. A lot of activity already beginning to run into northern California and as we kind of slow it down and take it bit by bit. A little bit of rain shower activity does show up in our area, and then more so as we head toward the middle of the day or so. But this will be more showery in nature, maybe a tenth of an inch or so here and there for some areas. But for the most part, it looks like the big issue will be, uh, can we make it till Tuesday? Because that's the day when we expect to see the, the bigger bulk of energy running into our coastline. And look at this, all these deep greens, yellows, even a few oranges here and there. And that is really good. That's rapid rainfall. That means that a lot of areas are likely to see at least an inch of rain, if not maybe multiple inches of rain along some of our hillsides, especially the south facing slopes of the hillsides. Because as we look at our tighter shot right here, again, the rain shower is not really showing up until late Monday going into Tuesday, so Monday actually not even looking really that bad, maybe just a shower or two here, and then it, the, the bulk of the energy again showing up mostly on Tuesday. That southerly flow right here is going to be the real key, subtropical moisture feeding into the storm system. Whenever you have those two ingredients, an area of low pressure sort of running into this tropical moisture right here, what ends up happening is you just get ample moisture to sort of add to the energy, so you get more rainfall. You might also see some south winds that can also play into it because as those winds blow up against the coastal ranges, it really picks up the rain, the rain energy. It's called orographic lift, and boy, you can just get, again, a lot of rain. The only sad note to that is for the skiers of both the Sierras and Southern California, snow levels might be quite high over the next couple of days, all because of that subtropical moisture. So again, maybe three to four inches possible for some of our mountain areas, one to two along the coast. Good steady rainfall expected by Tuesday. In the interim, though, just some showers here and there over the next couple of days that we'll keep an eye on that might bring a tenth to a quarter of an inch or so. Tuesday is the day we're really looking at. Maybe even going into Wednesday. South to southeast winds, showers are expected over the next day. Again, uh, probably going to be tapering off tomorrow night, maybe lingering into Monday. So your forecast looks a little on the cool side, but not too bad. Cool temperatures, scattered showers, a little bit of surf out there. We're losing our swell, so the bad news is um, it's going to get a little smaller, but it looks like there's still a few waves out there across the region. Quick look at the forecast right there. Notice how temperatures really don't get that cool uh, for the overnight hours. And again, the bulk of rain, the heavier bands expected once we get to Tuesday, possibly going into Wednesday, maybe even lingering to Thursday. And the reason for that, uh, Victoria, is because this system has really been... Um, pushing the, the envelope as far as uh, frustrating our computers, and that's all because of uh, timing. A lot of times when you have a Pacific uh, storm system, as it starts to interact with the land, you start getting timing issues, and that's why uh, we've been kind of all over the place. The last few days, it was maybe Sunday, Monday. Now it's looking more like late Monday, Tuesday, maybe even going into Wednesday. You Sunday. know, it doesn't matter that the days Just are bring off. It. Just, yeah, Just bring, bring that it. rain. Right. right. All right. Okay. Thanks for that, Sean. Some of the world's fittest people competed in the first Ferrigno Legacy and Bodybuilding Festival at the Granada Theater this weekend. The former Incredible.